Hello everyone, welcome to my floating hands. Today we're going to talk about the uh, domino method. So this is the exact same thing as dimensional analysis or the factor label method. Um, I just call it dominoes because I think it's easier. And when you listen to my lectures, you'll hear me refer to dominoes a lot. So now at least you'll know what's going on. Now the basic idea is pretty simple. This is what we use for unit conversions. It can also be used for density problems and even stoichiometry. So it's an incredibly important method to learn. Um, so you need to learn it now rather than later. Now the basic idea is very simple. We're just going to draw a line. Okay. In the top left hand corner we always put a box and in the bottom right hand corner we always place a box. Now to start out I like to use dominoes and I like to use dominoes with symbols. So here we have Lightning McQueen. We're going to go ahead and put lightning right here in the top top left hand corner. On the bottom right we're going to go ahead and put Mater. Okay, now because we have dominoes, we have a bunch of these different dominoes, we could go ahead and use any domino we want and we can put those in the center here. Now the rule is simple for this game. If I have a Lightning McQueen on top, I have to have the exact same symbol on the bottom so that it will cancel. And because I have Mater on the bottom, I also need Mater on top. Now I can use any of these dominoes that I like. I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. Now you can see that it's a domino so it has two sides and I can go ahead and flip it any direction I would like. Now this is important because you can do the exact same thing with our unit conversions. Now you can see here that if I set the domino up here with the line in the middle corresponding to this line here, you can see that this wouldn't work. Lightning McQueen on top would not cancel anything on the bottom. But if I go ahead and flip this over, then it's game over, right? Because we have Lightning McQueen here, and Lightning here, Mater here, Mater there. Now that's pretty easy. Now let's say that we lost this domino, or we didn't have it to begin with. We could do the exact same thing with these dominoes here. Now it would take two steps instead of just one, but that's just fine. So first what I'm going to do is, because I have a Lightning McQueen right here in the top, I'm going to use the domino with lightning and I'm going to put him on the bottom. Now obviously I can't stop here because even though I've cancelled out Lightning McQueen, now I have the Hudson Hornet up here on top. So I can use the second domino and again I would have to flip it so that you can see that Lightning McQueen cancels and then the Hudson Hornet cancels and then Mater cancels. Now I know that I can stop. Now when you're doing these type of problems, there are two very common mistakes. The number one most common mistake is that people have no idea where to start. Okay, look for whatever number is given in the problem, and go ahead and put that in the top left hand corner box. And then the second problem is that people don't know when to stop, and so they'll just keep throwing in as many conversion factors or as many dominoes as they'd like, and they don't know when to actually stop the problem. You stop the problem when you see that everything cancels out. Okay, pretty simple. Now let's do one more example. Okay, let's say I have a couple more dominoes here. Alright, let's see what we have. Okay, so let's say that we're going to go ahead and start with these dominoes. Well, which one do I begin with? Well, because I have Lightning McQueen up here in the top left hand corner, I have to start with the Lightning McQueen domino. You can see now that it cancels. I can go ahead and flip this domino over so that I cancel out the Hudson Hornet. But now I have this nice Porsche right here so I can go ahead and cancel that out. So you can see that this time it took three dominoes in the center there, but in every case it cancels. So this is exactly how it works with the um, factor label method or dimensional analysis or the domino method. Now, obviously these are just symbols, but the important thing to notice is that it's the symbols or the units that matter when we're doing one of these problems. So if I flip over all of these dominoes, you can see that we get the exact same thing as before. Here we have meters, which is a unit. Meters cancels meters, okay? Kilometers cancels kilometers. Decimeters cancels decimeters centimeters cancel centimeters. Now, in this case, we would put our number up here. So a typical problem would say something like this. Okay, I would ask, you know, 3.5 meters 
is equivalent to how many centimeters. Okay, so I have a couple of ways of doing this problem. I could go ahead and keep these set up the way they are, and I would know that 1,000 meters is a kilometer. One kilometer is 1 times 10 to the fourth decimeters, and one decimeter is 10 centimeters. That would give me centimeters down here. You can see that all of the units cancel, so I know I can stop when my units cancel. Now, the next step would be to take all of these numbers that are on the top and multiply them. So I'd actually have to write in a 3.5 meters up here in the top left hand corner because that's the number that was given in my problem. So 3.5 meters, okay, everything else cancels. Wherever my question mark is, I'm going to put that down here. I'm going to put question mark centimeters down here in the bottom right. Now I could go ahead and multiply. 3.5 times 1 times 1 times 10 to the fourth times 10. That would go ahead and give me a 3.5 times 10 to the fifth on the top. On the bottom I have 1,000 times 1 times 1, which obviously is just 1,000. So those are my numbers. Now I just simply divide 3.5 times 10 to the fifth divided by 1,000 which is going to give me um, 3.5 times 10 to the second, or 350. What that means is that 3.5 meters is the exact same thing as 350 centimeters. You'll notice that my units have to be centimeters because that is what my question mark was, question mark centimeters. Now you're saying, wait, I also know that um, you know, one meter is the same as 100 centimeters, so why do I need all of these dominoes? And in fact, you don't. I mean, we could have used this domino right here, which says that one meter is 100 centimeters. You'll notice that you get the exact same answer. 3.5 times 100 is 350 divided by 1 is still 350. So 3.5 meters is still 350 centimeters. So the number of dominoes doesn't matter, okay? All that matters are that is that the units actually cancel out. Okay, let's do another example.